and hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me your host Jonathan once again making you my thoughts and movie review for the brand new Dwayne Johnson Emily Blunt film Jungle Cruise starring Dwayne Johnson and Emily Blunt now this film is based off of the uh, Disney park ride The Jungle Cruise where you have a steamboat captain who takes people off on adventures and in the jungle and you know they look for adventure but here it's a little bit different very very kind of Pirates of the Caribbean-esque type of film but a lot of fun as well so you have Emily Blunt she's kind of like this um, enthusiast she has like this this theory that there's a magical flower out in the Amazon somewhere that will heal pretty much anything you know you can make a cure out of it and it can cure anything so she wants to go on to the Amazon to try to find this lost flower and try to bring it back to civilization so that way mankind can have um, medicine. So she goes to the jungle. She ends up meeting Dwayne Johnson's character who is the steamboat captain. And, you know, he gives people tours and, you know, he tries to make a living. And he ends up meeting Emily Blunt and he wants she wants him to take her out into the jungle to try to find this flower because she says she has a map. That will probably lead to it, but they have to go really deep into inside the jungle to pretty much try to track it down. And then that's basically the adventure here. And without actually spoiling anything, I gotta say this movie was actually kind of fun. It's not exactly the greatest film that The Rock has ever done. You know, I did like his chemistry with Emily Blunt and thought it really worked really well. Um, I, I like Emily Blunt as an actress. I think she's very good. And um, this movie, like I said, it had a lot of Pirates of the Caribbean feels to it. You know, you know, special creatures that they fight in the movie. Or, you know, the bad guys, I guess you can say. Kind of very Pirates of the Caribbean type villains. And you know what? It was a lot of fun. And The Rock was just being The Rock like he always is in every movie he's in. But, you know what? It was still a lot of fun. You know, taking a concept as the Jungle Cruise. Which is literally, if you've ever been to Disney World just a boat ride where things pop up at you and uh, the steamboat captain pretends to shoot at it and make it look cool and fun take that concept make a fun little pirate of the caribbean level c kind of film you, you could make it fun i guess you know but um so it depends on how you look at it and you know the plot was very simple you know woman finds treasure map she wants to find the treasure does she find the treasure you know, all that kind of thing. They go through obstacles to get to that treasure. And they unlock secrets throughout the whole mystery, I guess, about it. And then they learn a valuable lesson at the end. Typical plot point, but still. It was it was just a lot of fun. For a Disney film, it, it was okay. Um, but like I said, I, I do like Emily Blunt as an actress. I think she did a really good job. And of course, her working with The Rock was a lot of fun. A lot of good good chemistry and you know thought it worked. I, I thought it actually did work and um the ending kind of sets up a sequel. I, I don't know. I mean he, I hear rumors that they want to do another one, but it all depends on how you look at the film. But um we just have to wait, I guess. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about the Jungle Cruise. If you saw it on theaters, Disney Premiere Access, or you pay 30 bucks to watch it at home leave me a comment below let me know which, which way that you guys watched it and stay tuned for more thank you very much and have a good day